Now, if you watch my channel, you know recently I reviewed the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th Gen. I also reviewed the X1 Yoga 4th Gen, two of my favorite laptops of 2019 and for good reason they were excellent they both have a 13.9 inch display they both really check all the boxes but i had my eye on their bigger brother the thinkpad x1 extreme gen 2 and i couldn't wait to get it into the studio to put it through its paces and for good reason you've got that carbon fiber that i love on the x1 line and i also love the fact that you have a gorgeous 4k 15.6 inch display now i do have the oled display on the way but i wanted to check out first the ips display and i gotta tell you it's absolutely gorgeous hey everybody it's andrew and this is my review of the lenovo thinkpad x1 extreme gen 2 coming up Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Now I know some of you are not getting notified, so make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know when I post new videos on those platforms as well. In the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Lenovo is not paying me for this video. They're not sponsoring me for this video. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. The review unit is on loan from Lenovo, and once this review is done, I am sending it back to Lenovo. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Inside the box, you get Lenovo's 135 watt power adapter that uses Lenovo's own proprietary connector, some documentation, and of course, the unit itself. Now, please keep in mind, retail packaging may vary from my review unit's packaging. With that in mind, let's take a look at the unit. Now, one thing I love about the X1 Extreme is that the build quality is excellent. I love the magnesium alloy chassis, the rock solid build, and the military standard grade testing that it undergoes. That means this is going to take a licking and keep on ticking. I'm also a big fan of the carbon fiber exterior. Now, one thing you will note, it is a major fingerprint magnet. You will be wiping it down, but when it is clean, I really like the sleek looks that this gives off. And as far as a 15 inch laptop is concerned, this is definitely very thin, very light and really powerful. So I like that combination. And I love the feel on the inside with its soft matte deck, very comfortable to rest your wrist on. That's good too. And of course, as we always do on my channel, let's check out the port selection. On the left side, you get your power port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and yes, they do support four lanes. You do get an HDMI port, a breakout ethernet port, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Moving over to the right side, you get your optional smart card reader, a full-size SD card slot, two USB-A 3.1 ports, and a Kensington lock port. And I have to admit, this is a pretty good port selection. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Key, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, game keys, Steam CD keys, and so much more. Okay, here's how it works. Windows 10 Pro, $15.76. With my special 30% discount code just for my audience, you can bring it down to $11.03, which is a steal. Need Microsoft Office 2019? No problem, I got you covered. I have a 25% discount code, which brings it down from $66.05 to $49.54. That's an amazing price. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLKey.com for these great savings and remember to use my discount codes. And I want to thank LVL Key for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's talk about the display, one of the best features of this laptop. Now there are a few options when it comes to the display. Now I do have the OLED display on its way from Lenovo for me to check out. I will compare it to this IPS display which is excellent in its own right. It's also a 4K display, Dolby Vision HDR display which is excellent for watching Netflix, YouTube and the like. And it's a very bright display. I measured 403 nits making this an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor use. And it covers the color gamut extremely well, 99% sRGB, 99% Adobe RGB, making this an excellent choice for those creative professionals that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. 
and it's got some pretty slim bezels on the top and on the side and it does have a bit of a chin on the bottom but not too bad i've seen worse on other laptops it has a pretty nice modern look to it very sleek very appealing and it's an anti-glare display. This is great if you want to get some productivity work such as Microsoft Office, web browsing, emails, and the like. No unnecessary glare, no unnecessary reflections. And I love the fact that the screen folds all the way flat as you see here, giving you the perfect viewing angle each and every time. And it has a really sturdy hinge, even better. Now I love the fact that this has the Think Shutter switch giving you more privacy, more security. Gone are the days of putting tape over your webcam. So this is the webcam on the ThinkPad Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 2, 720p, 30 frames per second. Uh, not too bad actually, I've seen a lot worse lately on some of these higher end laptops. This isn't too bad, definitely good for Skype, definitely good for video conferencing when you need it. Uh, very impressed overall with this laptop actually this is one of the best laptops i've reviewed in a very long time really checks all the boxes but as far as this camera is concerned definitely usable when it comes to performance the x1 extreme gen 2 performed really well very impressive stuff here now my review unit has the core i7 9850h with v pro that's a ninth generation intel processor it's also a six core processor you can get it in the core i9 which is an eight core processor i don't know if you necessarily need to do that especially with this impressive performance with that core i7 my review unit has 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and it has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with Max-Q design. It's a very good GPU in terms of getting work done as far as video editing, all kinds of Photoshop with different layers. It worked really well. This is a great everyday machine, great for the content creator as well. That's what I like about this. And of course, it's not all work with this laptop as you can play games with it. Very playable frame rates. As you can see, if you put it on medium setting 1080p, I found that to be the sweet spot with the 1650 Max-Q design GPU here. I thought it was pretty impressive. So it's a nice all around laptop. Not only will it allow you to get work done, but it allows you to play games as well. That's pretty good. Want even more horsepower? Well, this gives you the ability to connect to an external GPU thanks to the two Thunderbolt 3 ports that support four lanes. Now, when it comes to thermals, I think Lenovo did a pretty decent job here, never getting overly hot, especially even under heavy load, which is pretty impressive. The dual fans certainly help, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, and the fans are relatively quiet as well, not overly loud. That's good. Now, I did notice initially that it would start the thermal throttle around 80 degrees Celsius, but after applying the latest firmware update, that limit was gone. So that's a good sign right there. I didn't notice any thermal throttling after that. Now bear something in mind, now my review unit has the Core i7 which definitely does better in thermals as opposed to the Core i9. Now I did take a look at the Dell XPS 15 recently that does have the Core i9 and that got hotter. Now I do have the X1 Extreme Gen 2 with an OLED display and I believe it's going to be the Core i9 on its way from Lenovo so I will be able to compare the two. But as far as thermals are concerned with the Core i7, not bad. Lenovo makes it really easy to access the inside of the X1 Extreme Gen 2. All you need to do is loosen the captive Phillips set screws, remove the bottom plate, and you're in. Now once inside, you'll notice you have a few upgrade options. You can swap out the Wi-Fi card, you can upgrade the RAM as you see here, and you can upgrade the SSD as there is an extra SSD slot. I love that. And as far as that SSD is concerned, very fast reads and writes. Check out these impressive numbers. Now inside you'll notice the dual fans, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, and it does have an 80 watt hour battery. Lenovo claims you're going to get up to 15 hours with its 80 watt hour battery in terms of battery life. Now that's wildly optimistic, I didn't get anywhere near that. I got 6 hours and 46 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits, which is pretty much on par with other 4K laptops, maybe a little bit less. But if you do need to plug in, it takes a little bit over 2 hours to give you a full charge thanks to the 135 watt power adapter supplied in the box that supports rapid charging. Now when it comes to the audio, these are average sounding speakers, not much of improvement from the first generation X1 Extreme, but definitely good enough if you just want to listen to some music now and then or watch a YouTube video, no problem. It does get loud enough, but again, not so much bass on it, and you would kind of expect a little bit better audio. I'd say it's average at best. 
So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 2? Is it worth your hard-earned money? Answer is, of course, absolutely. This is an excellent choice for that 15-inch laptop category. Love the design. Love that 4K HDR 500 display. Love the fact that it's a thin and light laptop in a 15-inch form factor. Outstanding keyboard, touchpad, and of course, track point best in class, in my opinion. User upgradable, that's what I love about this. You can upgrade the RAM, SSD, Wi-Fi card if you have to. The negatives are few and far between, but if you want to nitpick, the carbon fiber exterior is a major fingerprint magnet. You will be wiping it down. There's average audio on this. I was kind of hoping for improved audio, not really on this device. And average battery life, although that's with the 4K model, you will get better battery life with the full HD model. Expect two to three hours more. But there are no deal breakers here. I'm going to give the Lenovo Think Pad X1 Extreme Gen 2 a score of 91%, making it worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the X1 Extreme Gen 2? This is one of my favorite 15-inch laptops, perhaps of all time. This might be the closest we're going to get so far to a perfect laptop. Gorgeous display, excellent build quality, really good looks. I love that carbon fiber, good battery life, excellent performance, good thermals. We have really everything we'd want in a 15-inch thin and light laptop. To top that off, it has the GTX 1650 GPU with Max-Q design, and it definitely helps with gaming. It definitely helps with video editing when you need that extra performance boost. I like its port selection. I like its upgradability. Now, it can get very expensive, of course, but again, you pay for what you get. You pay for the quality, and this is no exception. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, I recently checked out the Dell XPS 15, their upgraded version, their OLED version. I plan to get the OLED version of this in very shortly, but I can tell you that that 4K IPS display on this model is absolutely gorgeous as well. So you won't go wrong in that direction, and you probably will get better battery life. Of course, I will compare the two in my OLED version of this review, coming very soon. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon... Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon... So what do you think about this bad boy, the X1 Yoga...